Good morning, guys. Today is gonna to be the bulk of our adventuring and checking out some cool photography Instagram spots in the Portland area. Um, my good friend Kelly is gonna be coming and picking me up here soon. Long time no see. Long time. How you been, bro? <laughs> What's up guys? So we are at stop number one. This is Multnomah Falls. It's super popular. Luckily it's raining. It's flowing pretty good. You guys, this is Kelly. This is the guy what up? with this beast of a car. It takes way too much gas to fill up. A lot of money. She's a beaut. So believe it or not, I lived here in Portland for 25 years. I haven't once been to Multnomah Falls. Luckily there's like no one here because of the weather. But yeah, really beautiful. Go out on the cold and rainy days, that's when there'll be nobody out on trail. Still quite a bit of snow here. Climbing up onto the bridge of Multnomah Falls. I think this was closed down for a while because of COVID, so uh, I feel fortunate that it's open and we're gonna go check it out and check the view out. So we're finishing up at Molnoma Falls. There's a restaurant over here, a snack bar over here, restrooms. I mean, they've basically got it all. It's a little background on Molnoma Falls if you guys don't already know. It's uh, 620 feet tall, 2 million visitors each year. That's how popular this place is. But yeah, we're on to the next spot, which is Wachella, if we're pronouncing it right. Here you need a, uh, need a pay to park or have a recreational pass. Um, a lot of the hikes here in Portland and Washington, unfortunately, that's how it is. So this is a uh, quick hike, not as quick as Multnomah Falls, but just a one miler. And it looks like there's not very many cars here. So we might have this waterfall to ourselves if we're lucky. So yeah, back in 2016, this whole area was devastated by like a massive fire. So a lot of these hikes have been closed down for a while, right? They just opened. A lot of trails are still closed because the fire burned a lot of the root systems in the topsoil, so the topsoil is really unstable, which makes it really dangerous for uh, landslides. So, yeah. yeah, even here you can still see some of the, you know, impacts the fire had. There's a lot of, you know, all these trees were burnt. So far, so good. All right, guys. I don't know how well you can hear me, but we finally made it to the waterfall. It is incredibly beautiful, you guys. The water is so clear and it's flowing hard right now. Check this out. Woo. All right, guys, that's a wrap for Wachella Falls. What do you think, Kelly? It's a pretty good spot. Yeah, it's pretty epic out here. But yeah, we're on to the next one. This was a definite success in my book, yeah. no doubt. Probably did. So we made it into the little town of Stevenson. We found some like little taco trucks. And there's some people at this one over here. So we're gonna go grab some Mexican food and hopefully got some vegetarian options for me. Awesome. Thank you. Gracias. Take care. Good afternoon. So we just got our Mexican food. It's looking so good and smelling delicious. Alright guys, so Falls Creek Falls might be a bust, I'm not sure. There's this road right off the... That's this is not, it. That's not the road to get back there. There's that's no the road to get down. That's like a the roads are just not in the greatest of conditions. There's a lot of snow still. Oh, there's a car right here. There's still a lot of snow up here. So we're gonna we're gonna pass on this waterfall. Panther Creek Falls looks cooler anyways, so this could kind of work out. Um, yeah, we're gonna head back that way. Hopefully we don't run into the same problem over there. If you, if you walk for five minutes that way, you've gone too far. Okay. It's slippery. Oh! All right, so we met some cool people in the parking lot back there and it pointed us in the right direction. Thank God, because I don't know if we would have been able to find it. That's been quite a journey getting up here. Hey, look at that. We're like over here. That is pretty epic. That's sweet. So 
looks like there's another waterfall that's a little bit below that last one. And we're making our way down. I was just sliding down here. All right, we just climbed out. Kelly's coming out to you. That ends uh, today in our waterfall journey. It's pretty epic. You guys, I just drove about 40 minutes north to Woodland. Uh, this place I haven't been to before. I've seen a lot of crazy cool photos. Um, I believe it's closed because of COVID, but you can still kind of walk around the grounds and take pictures. This is an old mill um, and there's like an old school covered bridge. Yeah, it just makes for a great photo spot, so. Okay, so this is where the water is supposed to be flowing through. And I'm pretty sure it powered the mill. It was down the river out here pretty cool i kind of peeked inside for a second and uh yeah it just looks like a museum kind of restored it's a pretty cool spot i like it out here there it is oh my god that's so, so crazy. crazy so i'm at the final destination on this trip in portland check this out Insane. This guy lives in this airplane out here in Hillsboro. And I talked to him on the phone. He's a super nice guy and he's totally welcome if you come here. Just make sure you click the link in our description. You need to look through all his website stuff and rules. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure to do that first. But yeah, this is just unreal. Like it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Hey guys, I want to give you a little background on that airplane home that we checked out earlier. It's a 727-200. Um, he spent $100,000 on the plane itself, and he basically um, paid around another $100,000 to get everything installed, to my understanding, and get it moved out there. And I believe that included the land too, but I'm not really sure if it's specified. Um, but yeah, the owner, is his name is Bruce Campbell. He's a uh, electrical engineer, um, and he just believes in the uh, superior design. Um, and engineering of the airplane and believes it's just a better place to live and it's honestly pretty cheap too for you know how safe it is and how much space you have but yeah tonight i'm gonna have dinner with uh Ciara's parents haven't seen them in quite a while and uh tomorrow i'm gonna be getting up on an early flight and going back to honolulu so that'll wrap up this whole uh pacific northwest adventure it's been a lot of fun i think i've seen more cool spots in these last four days than you know, all my 20, 20, 25 years of living here. So um, I had an absolute killer time. 